This is a porcelain doll I've chosen to um, show you how to make a wig on because she's a little bit larger and um, she's pretty sturdy. And what I've done is I've put a little bit of gallery, gallery tack, see the blue stuff right down there, um, on her leg and she's in the setting she's going to be in so that I don't have to worry about um, having her tip over and her being hard to work on to show you what you need to know. Okay, first thing you want to do is you want to work with Tibetan lamb's full or wool or um, mohair. Mohair, you can buy it um, by the uh, big bag full and you'll have to clean it or you can buy it clean. Tibetan lamb's wool, generally you're going to have to uh, cut it off the hide. So this is the first thing I do. Uh, this is a hide and I have dyed this with writ dye. Um, we mix a little bit of yellow writ dye with um, tan writ dye and um, I think I have a teeny bit of red in it to get this pretty color that we've got. So first thing is uh, cut it off the hide and I'm going to make two pieces out the back of her head. And generally you can make it all in approximately two big long pieces. Um, so you need an old toothbrush to brush the loose ends out. Okay, And we're going to put some Fabri-Tac glue. Uh, I swear by it, it's the best stuff in the whole world. And I will put it just on the ends because we want long hair. I cut this pretty close to the uh, hide, surface of the hide, so I can get the length that I need for her hair. It's nice to do women. Oh, love their long pretty hair. So here we go. This takes about 45 seconds to a minute to dry on the one side, and then I'm going to turn it over. So meanwhile, while that's drying, I'm going to start another piece. And just put it on the ends. And the best thing to do is do several of these little plugs, I call them plugs, uh, in advance. And if they're too wide, you can always cut them in half and use different pieces. It's better to do it in advance. And you need to keep the ends of your Fabri-Tac glue wiped off. I use a paper towel generally to um, clean it. Okay, turn it over messy stuff and you don't want to get your hands in it. That's why I say keep the ends clean and off the, of the nozzle and try to get all the ends stuck together. It's going to be a big glob of glue but what we're going to do is we're going to, when it starts to dry a little bit more we're going to press it down, flatten it off and we're going to trim so we have more control over the hair. This is the messiest part. If you get it on your hands Oh, you're going to be picking it off, and you're going to get it all over the doll, and it's just a nightmare. Keep it wiped off. Okay. It should be almost dry on the one side for sure. It's a little tacky. Not too bad, though. Okay. Just flatten it really, really good. Don't worry about the glue, how much you've got, because you're going to cut some off. I'm going to turn her around like she's in a little beauty shop. And she is a porcelain doll, so you will have a pour hole. There you go. But this is primarily for, um, this film is primarily for how to do it on polymer dolls, which either doll you do it on, any doll you do it on, vinyl doll, whatever, the whole thing is going to be the same. So we're going to feather it out. If you um, 